Hi, my name is Fred Newman. I'm the owner of the View Camera Store, and today I'd like to talk about testing selenium toning for maximum black. Now, part of your printing procedure should be selenium toning your prints. First, it makes them more archival, and second, they actually look better. The blacks will be blacker. When you put an untoned print next to a toned print, the toned print will definitely win. The blacks are just much richer. So it's a very simple procedure. And if you remember back in video number 33, the same paper test procedure that we used, in other words, if what I always recommend is write down all the information when you did your original test for filters. So you want to know the exposure time, the f-stop you used, the lens you used, the enlarger height, and all the important information so that the next time you go to do a test like the selenium toner for this particular paper, you've got it all started. Now, what I what, for this particular test, it was Ilford Multigrade 4. Uh, projection means we did an enlargement. I put the 4 by 5 step tablet in the enlarger just like I did in, num in video number 33. Uh, for this test, uh, I used Ilford Universal Paper Developer. It was diluted 1 plus 9. Um, the temperature is 75 degrees. It's kind of hard to do anything lower than that in Arizona. The developing time was two minutes. And for the selenium toner test part that I did, I used the Ilford selenium toner. And <clears throat> the dilution was one part toner, 10 parts water. Now for this test, I, did, I just did five sheets of paper. And after I did all the printing, and it's in the wash, you know, the original test, exactly like I did in 33, when they're in the wash, and on the back of each sheet, I've marked 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. So when I look at the 0, I just let it dry, air dry. And then for the other four sheets of paper, I'm going to mix, mix selenium toner. And then I'm going to mix a uh, hypo clearing agent. And then, and then we just put it in the wash like before. So basically, once you're done doing all these four, just exactly like you did all these five sheets, exactly like you did in number 33, we're, not, we're just doing it for like a grade 2 filter. And as, again, I say that zero is going to go in on the dryer. And then we're going to tone one print for two minutes, put it in the wash, tone the second print for four minutes, the third for six minutes, and the fourth for eight minutes. And all these are going to be in the wash. And we'll take them out of the wash, put them in, the, in this hypo clearing for two minutes. And then I'm going to put them back in the wash. And these are the results that I got for the density readings of all the 21 steps. And as I say, it's exactly like the video in 33, what we did basically, except we're toning the prints after we're done. So here's the easiest way to see it. You can see it right here actually. It goes from 2.05 at zero minutes for step one. 2.23 jumps up to 2.23 to 2.3 to 2.32 and then down to 2.28. What happens here, you're not seeing it as much. We, if we would have gone further, this number would have dropped below 2.28. The toning reaches maximum black at 2.32, and then as the toning gets overtoned, the paper gets overtoned, the blacks become a little bit brown, and you lose DMAX, so it's down here. So let's look at the uh, analyzed page. I always find this easier to see. So here's all the tests in a summary page here. Now we have the zero, and the ID max is 95% of DMAX, so we've got 1.85, and you could watch it jump up, 2.02, 2.08, 2.1, and then you'll see it drop down a little bit over here. Now for me, I don't have the patience, to be honest, for toning for six minutes. So what I'm gonna do is a second test, a little bit finer gradations in terms of one minute, and we'll see what we get. So this is the start, Sometimes you have to do more than one test to get this. In a minute, we'll go on to the next one. Okay, now for my second test, doing the exact same everything as before, same paper, projecting, same developer, same temperature. This time, we're diluting the selenium toner one part toner to five parts water. As I say, I found six minutes a little bit too long for me, and this will show the effect a little bit better here. So let's go on to see what we did. So this time I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sheets of paper. So exactly again like you did before. In other words, each one is processed and exposed exactly the same. And again, you're going to write these numbers on the back of the paper so you know how to tone them. So zero, when you're done with the wash, after, you process, after you've projected, developed, fixed, stopped and fixed the paper in the wash, you're going to take out the zero and just put it in the dryer. And then again, you're going to do one minute toning, two minute toning, three, four, five and six. So you're going to tone all these and then once you've done the toning, like one minute throw it in the wash, the two minute throw it in the wash and as I say, write the number on the back so it's easy to tell what you're doing and then after they're in the wash, put them back in the hypo clear for two minutes and then put them back in the wash. And you can see the results right here. So again, we've got 
2.26 and then it jumps to 2.31 and you can see it start to decrease now 2.29 2.25 2.24 so for me two minutes is a lot better than toning the other way let's just look at it this way again so we start at zero and then we're jumping up a little bit 2.04 and then we're going to go to 2.09 and then we're going to drop back to 207 203 203 and 203 so what i found here from this test is when i'm going to print with ilford multigrain 4 when i'm done processing after i make all my prints and they're in the wash i'm going to throw out all the chemistry the developer the stop and the fix mix some fresh hypo some mis fresh uh toner dilute it one to five mix some mix some fresh hypo clearing agent and then have my wash next to that so what i'll do is take all the prints and i'll tone them for two minutes then i'll put them in the hypo clearing agent for two minutes and then i'll put them in the wash and then i'll put them in the archival wash so this actually simplifies selenium toner so now that you know when you're toning your prints and using this particular once you do your test this is work works in my darkroom you might want it might be similar in yours and <clears throat> you'll get exactly the exact number here so two minutes of toning two minutes hypo clear and then you're done what this basically does is simplify your printing procedures so that everything is cookbook just like normal two minutes in the developer maybe 10 or 15 seconds in your stop bath one minute in the fixer using the ilford procedures with ilford high pam or ilford rapid fixer then throw them in the wash and then you got cookbook again two minutes in the selenium toner two minutes in the hypo clear and then put a little wash and then put it in your archival wash and you're done so this makes printing a lot easier we can do this through the um paper testing service that we have or if you have the plotter program you could do the testings on your own but it's a great way to just simplify your printing get better results on your printing and it's not a lot of work to do i hope this helps i will do one on the ilford multigrade warm tone uh following this thank you for watching i hope it helped you bye